There's a wide variety of demons indeed. You give them different names or different um, relationships in the in your aspects or your facets. But they're your demons. I'm going to ask you to confront them, meaning to acknowledge them today and to understand why you've made them into demons, to make understand they are yours. The moment you try to say, but that is coming from, from this place called hell, or the demons are some disincarnate beings that have attached themselves to you and are draining your energy, the moment you say it is in some alien demon, the moment you give it credit to make it larger and more is than yourself, now the demon has control. The demons are yours. And we're going to ask you at this point today, and this doorway to the new energy, to acknowledge that they're yours. They don't belong to anyone else. There is no great spirit, negative evil spirit attaching itself to you. There are no groups anymore that have demonic control over you. There's not a government who's manipulating radio or light frequencies and is the exterior demon in your life making you drink tap water. (laughs) Every demon is yours. There's not some financial system that's controlling you anymore. Every demon is yours. See, the moment you place it outside of you, you give it an incredible amount of power. It's really still inside of you. But you placed it outside because little human tends to think that outside is bigger than inside. Outside is more powerful. Every demon is your own. Let's take a look at some of the other ones you've created. A demon of death, that's a good one. That is probably one of the most prevalent and frightening because there's so little real information about death. Death is a big black hole, so the demon becomes very frightening. How many years of your life have you spent running from death, the demon of death, trying to evade it, trying to out-trick it, trying to hide from the grim reaper, trying not to have physical ailments, trying not to get run over by a car? How many wasted hours of your life have been trying to avoid the demon of death? That demon is yours. It's your fear of what lies beyond. And is the little human that doesn't want any change, the little human that wants to go on forever and ever and ever. You've created this grander-than-life demon of death. It's time to take a look at that. It's yours. There is no death. There is the transition and the evolution, but there is no death. So what are you afraid of? You created demons of lack. We talked about it before. Lack of abundance, lack of relationships, lack of everything. You've been trying to manipulate it, this demon of lack. You've been trying to deny it. You've been trying to work so hard just to stay a half a step ahead of the demon of lack. But as a monster, I know it is. You fear it at night when you're trying to get to sleep. It shows up as an unpaid bill. It shows up as a collector. It shows up as some big, bad financial institution that's going to take everything from you. And you put it on the outside of you, this demon of lack, pretending that it's not yours. And you give it grand and incredible power to the point where it controls your life, to the point where it's a constant battle, a constant chase between little you and demon of lack. How much of your time have you consumed, wasted with this demon? You have demons of loneliness, afraid of being alone, afraid that this demon is going to sweep over you and you will be lost in some deep, dark abyss with only yourself for eternity. It does sound pretty frightening. But... It is a demon that you placed out there because you find it difficult to be with yourself. You are lonely. 
You are lonely, not because of people on the outside, but you are lonely with yourself on the inside. Little human is wandering around lonely, trying to find friends, trying to find somebody to love it. It goes outside, goes outside of itself, tries to then feed on other people. Little human wouldn't have this demon if little human and all of you would reunite, would come home together now in this now moment. You have demons of crazy, afraid that you're going to go crazy. And I can tell you right now you are. (laughs) Because crazy is related to how your mind works. So this demon was created in a sense as a counterpart of the mind, even as an extension of the mind. And you wonder if you're going crazy and you spend countless hours trying to tell yourself that you're not crazy, running from this demon. And basically, sooner or later, you're going to have to get out of your mind because the mind cannot comprehend the God that you are. So yes, sooner or later, it is about letting go of that control, letting yourself go crazy. The demon of crazy is the one that keeps the trust away from you. It separates you, little human, from the trust of you. The demon of crazy makes it so that you don't trust who you are. It has you doubting yourself. It has you wondering about right decisions, wrong decisions, good decisions, no decisions. It prevents you from truly trusting yourself. You have demons of everything. Demons of other people ridiculing you. So you create this demon, place it outside of you, empower other people actually to use its energies because you're afraid of being ridiculed. Because basically, little human gets identity of self through external beings, through other humans. So little human tries to develop the awareness of itself through the outside world the reactions of other people, the relationships with other people. So it creates this whole demon of being ridiculed, being laughed at, scorned, scoffed at. That is a demon, but it is yours. Stop blaming it on everything outside of you. The list of demons goes on and on and on, but they're all yours. There is not one thing that can truly hurt you outside of you. There are no demons outside of you. Other people have their demons, but their demons aren't going to devour your demons. The demons are yours. What are your demons, Shambhra? What are they? Take an account right now. Um, They're all there. You can feel them. Is it health? What are you afraid of? A lot of you have this almost undefinable demon that something is going to consume you, something external. It's just going to come in and gobble you up. No soul can take any other soul. It doesn't work. It just doesn't. You know, it's like letting the air out of a great, big, inflatable, ugly doll. And that's what we're doing right now. Those demons that appeared so large, so frightening, so terrifying that they can take your soul for eternity are nothing but big hot air balloons. We can let the air out right now. In order to do so, it is important to acknowledge that they're yours. When you get into this thing that the conspiracies, the aliens, when you start telling me how you have some evil being that's attached to you and growing on you, it's following you around everywhere, I have to shake my head. I have to say, but that's just you. (laughs) That's just you. Part of you that you don't like, part of you that you've given a grand power to. When you start saying, I must have some group from the past that's controlling my life now, making it impossible for me to be creative and successful, I just have to say, But it's your demon. It's you. Oh, it probably was from a past life. 
probably a bad experience you had somewhere along the line, losing your money or doing something stupid with it, (laughs) gambling it away, giving it away, or investing in something really bad. But it's yours. I'm going to ask you to take a really big step today if you choose to. And it's all by choice, of course. Acknowledge those demons and then let them be free. Let them go. There are no demons. There are no evil conspiracies that are going to consume you unless you want that to happen. Those demons are yours. Before we can walk into the new energy, it's important to acknowledge that. Not just a few, not just a lot, but all of them. Every demon is yours. It's time now for you, not little human, but you, divine human who sits in these chairs, to take a deep breath, metaphorically, if you choose, imagine, unlock that energy. It's old, stuck energy. It wasn't the demon who had the key. It was you that had it all the way along. You could have unlocked it any time you chose. Part of you, little human, was having far too much fun with the game. Going to this through this doorway into the new energy, it's important to let that game go. To let that old stuck energy of your demons go. When you unlock that stuck energy of the demons, when you let the stories go, They don't get to be bigger demons. They don't get to be bigger stories. They get to revert back to you, back to your pure energy in a way that no longer drains you or frightens you, controls you, but actually goes back to pure energy that is here to serve you. When you are free of your demons, when you acknowledge them, when you confront them and then you release them, You take ownership for them. When you understand that you created them, you can also uncreate them. That frees up a tremendous amount of energy to be used in highly creative ways. Let us take a deep breath together. Hold it in for a moment. And as you release that breath, have it so that it is like deflating the balloons of those demons that you created. Let them go. Let the energy go. There are no demons. There is just all of you.